Hello everyone. If you don't know by now, me and John are going on holiday and we are actually leaving on Friday next week. So on the 6th of April, we're going on holiday. And I thought that I would show you some bits that I bought. All the bits that I've shown you today are bits that I bought on eBay. And without eBay, I don't know what I'd do because I love it. And it has everything you could possibly need and you don't have to go out to get it. It just comes straight to your door. So, and everything on there is so much cheaper than it is in the shop. So it came within like a couple of days of ordering it, which was really good. So, yeah, this is my little eBay travelling essential haul. And, yeah, I'm just going to show you the bits that I bought. And all of them is like really good. But, yeah, let's show you. The first thing I'm going to show you, which is like my essential now when packing are these packing cubes they're full up already because i've packed well i'm mid packing my stuff which i'm also going to do a video on but these are the little cubes that you get and this is the biggest cube here just so much easier like you pack everything into this cube and it's like all packed neatly together and it's tightly in there and then you can zip it up and it just keeps it all compact so i think these are really good and these were the pink ones comes with a little um what are these handle comes with a handle but you don't really need that but comes with a handle and yeah so this is the biggest cube that you get you also get a medium cube i've not got anything in this one and i probably won't use this one for this flight because i don't have the room for it because we're just taking a small suitcase but yeah this is a medium sized one this is what they like when they've not got anything in them so you can pack them up really really tiny if you need to and then this is the smallest size one which you get which i just put my underwear and my bikinis and stuff in and keeps it all together and nice and say i just wanted to get a bikini out boom there's my bikini you also get three of these um they're called they call them laundry pouches which is written upside down for some reason but they call them laundry pouches and i've already used these so they're a bit they've got like makeup on them and they're a bit grubby but you get a large one and they've just got like a zippy on them a medium pouch and a small pouch and i'll use these for things like hair bands and just like purses and sunglasses and bits and pieces like that it's also good to keep one just a flat one in there just in the bottom of your suitcase so if you get any like dirty clothes or wet clothes you can just chuck them in there and it won't make the rest of your suitcase all skanky if you just type if you go on ebay and type in um packing cubes they come up so they come in all different colors and my ones were a pack of six which i've just showed you and they were five pound 89 and i got them in pink because pink is girly and pink is cute the next thing i got from ebay was i got this quite a while ago but it was from ebay this is a portable charger it also has a solar panel on it so if you're out and about and you run out of charge and this one is out of charge as well if you just leave it sort of out in the sun then you're going to get yourself some battery from it so i think that was quite a good idea because if you run out which these things always run out but this one's been quite good actually then you can just charge it with the sun so that's good and it's also got two ports in it so you can charge two different things at the same time so it's always handy to have one of these because when you're traveling especially on a long haul flight you're gonna run out of battery and i can literally bring my kindle my phone and i can charge it all up just from one charge of this so that's a good thing to have make sure you bring a portable charger with you i bought this on ebay and i think this was about six or seven pounds i bought it quite a while ago but i'm pretty sure they're still in there i think if you just type in portable chargers it'll come up the next thing i brought was sleeping mask i've never actually used a sleeping mask before i feel like i'll be able to get more sleep if i've got a sleeping mask on and i'm planning on trying to get as much sleep as i can just to make the um flat go quickly but yeah this was from ebay as well obviously this is an ebay haul and it's good as well because it's got an adjustable strap which means fit even the tiniest of heads like mine oh wow that was 99p and it literally came like the day after i ordered it so that's brilliant next thing i got was this and this is going to be so handy even when i'm not traveling because all my cables at the moment are literally just chucked into a box at the end of my bed and every time i want to get one out they're like all tangled up and 
it stresses me out. So I got this, which is like a cable organiser. Wait till you see the inside, it's like crazy cool. So this is like a cable organiser. It's got, it's kind of like padded, which is nice because then you know that everything's safe in there. Um, and then you've got all these different sections. I put some in there just for now because I wanted to show you how it worked. But I'm going to put all my cables in there and like little bits and pieces that will fit in there basically. So I've got another little portable charger just in case that one runs out. Um, I've got a few cables and they just sit in there like really securely. And it's like really nice because then they don't get tangled up. And yeah, I'll probably put my headphones in there as well. Um, and then it's got like a little pocket. I've got my little headphone splitter in and I got this from Primark. This was about two pounds. And me and John, when we're on the plane, we like to watch the same film and stuff on my Kindle because I download a load of films before we go. And um, this is a unicorn shaped splitter. Why would you not want one? <laughs> and um, it's also got this little thing that I thought was really cool. It's like an um, SD card holder so you can put your little memory cards in there and they won't get lost because I always get scared that when I take like spare memory cards and stuff they'll be dangling around and get lost in my bag so it's a good slot for it but yeah it's just a very nice little way to organize your cables plus it just lays flat super flat and then you can just put it like at the bottom of your suitcase or something or in like the front pocket guess how much this was I'm such a bargain hunter, oh my god. £3.69, this little pouch. God. I don't know how I do it. I really don't know how I do it. I then got this, which is just a little camera. It's like a, one of those gorilla pods, but it's like a smaller version. So you can easily put your camera on here. And I have tried it because it does look quite flimsy and not very strong, but it actually it holds my camera up really nicely and it's just nice to have this rather than having to hold the camera and try and like press the buttons on it and stuff you can literally just like hold it like this and it keeps it steady and if you want to put it down and take pictures you can like bend the legs on it and stuff and it's just handy to have and it was like crazy cheap my little tripod was £1.39 and it came so quickly as well all these things come so quickly okay so the next thing I bought from ebay which i bought ages and ages ago and this keeps mine and john's passport in it and all our travel documents and it's bright pink so when you're looking for your like your passports and your travel documents it's, it's just so easy to pull out and everything's all in the same place i highly recommend getting one of these and you could put pen in there and you've just got everything where you need it to be inside it looks like this you've got like a little bit where you can put a little pen your passports so I've got mine and John's in there and then we've also you can also got like all these little things you could put cards and stuff in there whatever you need to even put your phone in there if you wanted to and then I've also just got travel insurance travel documents I fold them in half put them in there fold it up that is a handy thing to have it's literally like three four pounds off of eBay so it's not even expensive and it is so worth it okay the next thing I got was this camera case how pretty is this camera case it looks so much more expensive than it was and you're going to be so surprised when i tell you how much this was because it's just crazy if you could feel it you would know how how nice it feels i've got one of those bits that go into the you know the hole at the bottom of the camera where you put your tripod this screws into that so that screws onto the camera so then that's locked into place on your camera so that's not falling off anywhere it then connects over I've done it right over like that and then clips up underneath there like that so then your whole camera is protected you've got the little sections here so that the straps can come out so you can still have it around your neck god it's so cheap that was seven pounds 85 and it comes in lots of different colors as well but the next things i got was so I always use this and I always buy it off of either Amazon or eBay. This time I got it off eBay. And this is just an undercoat that I put on my eyelashes. Um, I use it quite a lot when I go on holiday because I don't like to wear too much makeup. But I like my eyelashes looking nice because when you've got nice eyelashes it makes you look more awake and stuff. So what I do is I put a coat of this on first and then I'll put my mascara on. And it's a 
basically it's like an undercoat it's like an undercoat for your eyelashes but it also conditions them as well so not only are you getting better volume and length to your eyelashes it's also conditioning at the same time and I wear this every single day when I do my makeup and this is just the Evelyn Cosmetics Total Action little mascara thing it was £4.49 not bad so this isn't really a travel essential but while I was on eBay I came across this and this is like a little anklet and I always, every time I go on holiday I always get a new anklet and we are going to Thailand and we are visiting the elephant sanctuary to give them baths and feed them and stuff I thought that would be very appropriate for our holidays but that was only 99p but I know it's not a travel essential but they have some really nice jewellery on eBay and you won't worry about losing them if or breaking them if it happens because you shouldn't take really nice jewellery on holiday anyway just in case you leave them behind or you lose them or get stolen or whatever but yeah that was like 99p from ebay i have another one this next one this is a little um perfume it's got a word atomizer a perfume spray thing and what it is is it's like a little travel one so instead of bringing like the big bottle of perfume this little thing here you push you take the basically okay so say this was a perfume you take this top bit off and you get this little bit and what you do is you push that onto there pump it onto there until it's full up you've got a little window so you know when it's full up and then you've got yourself your favorite spray in a little bottle and this is good for the planes as well if you want to freshen up on the plane you can just in the bathroom and you smell like a dream and this was £2.79 so the most excited things I've left till last and one of these things you're probably gonna laugh at because it's like really big but I'll show you that now <laughs> this <laughs> is gonna be a dream on my flight like this is gonna be so good and I'm gonna get so much sleep because of this huge inflatable puffy thing so basically what this is this is like a footrest when I'm on a plane I get so uncomfortable and I get so bored and I, I get a bit sick as well. I was looking online and stuff and I found these and I was like, what, where are you going to put that? So what you do is you literally slip this into your footwell. And when I'm on planes, I try to like crunch up onto the chair and like sleep like like that. Or even if I'm just watching a film, I like crunch up like this just because I find it the most comfortable. But the part where you sit on the back, the, your bum sits on the chair it's not wide enough for you to have your bum and your feet so my feet just slip off so I'll just be getting to sleep or something or I'll just be getting comfortable and my feet will like slip off the edge of the chair because it's not wide enough for you to crunch up on so what this is is you put this and it fits perfectly in your footwell and then it's the perfect height that it matches up with your chair so what this does is it basically extends your chair to be twice as long so you can put your legs out and instead of your legs being like this they'll be like this how good is that and like you can crunch up and you can just sort of like just use it as like a footrest and you can either have it up like that so it it sits perfectly flush with your chair so it extends your chair or you can have it that way which makes it a little bit smaller and then just have your feet lower down this is how big it is comes with a little hat as well Think that's either to keep the bottom of it clean or the top of it clean so if you've got shoes on you're not going to get it dirty so yeah i thought that was really really good and you can get these on amazon or ebay and i paid i think about 15 pounds for this but it's going to be so worth it my i've, I've had it blown up and my mum's been using it downstairs every, every day but every time i go down there she's sitting there with her legs up on it <laughs> packs down to such a small little so such a small little packet not even going to take that much room up in my bag either and the final item is my favorite item john actually got me this and he told me he got it off ebay and i'm not too sure how much it was but i'm sure it wasn't too expensive but this comes in this little pouch and it's like squished up like this so it's quite small 
It looks like a life jacket, but it's not. Let me blow it up and show you. So, this is what we have. Everyone on the plane is gonna be so jealous of this. <laughs> John went to me, I have a surprise for you. And I was like, oh, what is it? And I was like so excited for it. And uh, he turned up and he gave me this squishy bag and I was like, what is it? And I opened it up and he was like, go and blow it up. And I blow it, blew it up and I was like, cause I thought it was like a life jacket. I was like, what do we need this for? And I opened it up and I was like, oh, it's one of those things. So if you don't know what this is already, what it is, is one of these. <laughs> so basically you can use it on your lap I don't know how well you can see you can use it on your lap you put your arms through here and then it's like a head sport it's like a little huggy thing you can like have it on the side and like have it like this you can also turn it round and lay on it like this also because you can look into it like that you can have like your phone or whatever in there with a film on resting at the back Put your arms in, put your arms in, watch a film. How good is that? <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, when you want to release the air, you literally just press this button in. And the air comes out and then obviously it will when it's all the airs out it will just fold back into that lovely pouch that was everything i got from ebay for my like my travel essentials i got from ebay and everything i got was like really good so if you're looking for like travel stuff and you don't want to spend too much on it and they're all really good quality as well and you want good quality stuff head over to ebay i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up and make sure you comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification because then it will notify you whenever i upload a video and yeah i will see you in our next videos and i'll probably be in thailand when you're watching this so <gasps> i'm excited i'll see you in thailand bye Around. It seems I'm invisible